Okay, boys and girls, we're going to continue, please. Sharon Wells, week three, skills two. And it looks like it's um, decimal points, boys and girls. Okay, here we go. Um, there's six. I'll help you with two, but then I'm going to let you loose, okay? All right. So the first one, boys and girls, is asking for, let's see, which point on the number line best represents 37.5, 37 and 5 tenths? So you can see here, boys and girls, we got a whole number 36 and a whole number 37. There's something in between. Okay, so we are looking for a 37.5. So 37 and something. Well, boys and girls, let's start eliminating. This is 36 and something. No, that's a 38 and something. No, that is exactly 38. No, it has to be this one, boys and girls. And that is the correct answer, X, letter B. And boys and girls, since they only have one marking, that is your 0.5. It's halfway. So this would have been 36.5. That was your 37.5. This one was your 38.5. Okay. All right, let's do another one. Number two. It's asking for which mixed number on the number line does point E represent? So this is what we're looking for, boys and girls. And we're not talking about frac. We're not talking about decimal points. We're talking about decimal points over here. Here, boys and girls, we're talking about fractions. Okay. So I'm going to change that into a chocolate bar. 75 to 76 right here. But boys and girls, I already know which one to eliminate. Do you know which one to eliminate? I hope you said J. Because that's 76 and a half, so it has to be on this side. And the E is not on that side. 76 and something is on this side. And the E is still on the 75. So it has to be one of these. All right, so we're going to cut these up into little chocolate bar pieces, what we've done in class. Okay, so how many do we have in all, boys and girls? We have one, two, three, four, five pieces. Five. Take this one out. And we shade it. How many can we shade, boys and girls? Where do we stop? We start with the E. So it's one, two, and three. All right. So three out of five, boys and girls. So the answer was H. Okay. One more together. It says, which point on the number line best represents 17 and one fourth? Again, boys and girls, it's just uh, a fraction bar that we're going to create. Um, I already know the answer, though, because look at the whole number, boys and girls, 17. Try that again. The whole number, boys and girls, is 17 and something. Well, the M is 15 and something. No, thank you. The M, the N, and the O is 16 and something. Uh, no. Only one, boys and girls, that's 17 and something is the P. So that's your answer, but we're still going to do our strategies, boys and girls. Okay, so we're going to cut it up into little chocolate bars, chocolate pieces like Hershey's, and the P stops here. So we're only going to have to shade in one little area right here. How many pieces were in all? One, two, three, four pieces. So yes, the P is 17 and one fourth. Okay, boys and girls, you're on your own for the other three. Don't forget to submit. Thank you, boys and girls.